How to build an electric fence to keep raccoons away Raccoons can be a major pest around the home. They knock over garbage cans in search of food, may gain access to an attic or crawl space to make dens, and can carry rabies and other diseases. Raccoons are smart when it comes to breaking and entering yards, and it can be a frustrating exercise to discourage them. While an electric fence to discourage raccoons may not be the cheapest option, it might be worth the expense if your other attempts have been unsuccessful. Things you will need Fence charger Electric fence wire Grounding rods Fiberglass fence rods with insulators Wire cutters Hammer Measuring tape Voltage meter Measure the perimeter of the area you want to fence. This does not have to be an exact measurement electric wire comes in large rolls giving you a bit of leeway on the measurement. Install your corner fence rods. Using a hammer, pound them at least 1 feet deep into the ground. Install the remaining fence rods at 8 foot intervals around the perimeter. Slip the insulators over the rods and slide them down to about 5 inches from the ground. Tie the end of the electric fence wire to the insulator on a corner rod. Keeping the wire tight, thread it through the insulators on the other rods around the perimeter. Attach the fence charger to a wooden pole or wall near your fence and attach the fence wire to it, according to manufacturer's directions. Install ground rods according to the fence charger's manual. The number of ground rods required will vary by model. Turn on the charger and test the voltage on the fence with a digital voltage meter to ensure it's working and is within the manufacturer's specifications. Tips Warnings Consider placing a physical barrier, such as a chicken wire fence, a few inches inside the electric strand to increase your fence's effectiveness. Place warning signs around the fenced area and keep children and pets away from the electric strand. While they won't receive major injury from an electric fence, they may get a painful shock.